4 was invented by a Russian philosopher, Karl Marx, and was a big part of his life growing up. Connect 4 was at the root of some of Marx's ideals of communism and was constantly brought up in Marx's masterpiece, The Communist Manifesto. The game, however, was quite unpopular in Russia, but very much liked by the communist leader, Joseph Stalin. Contrary to popular belief, Joseph Stalin's real purpose in executing over one million people during the Iron Curtain was to suppress and punish those who openly defied the game, Connect Four. The game did, however, become popular years prior to these events in China. Connect Four was brought over to America during the building of the California Central Railroad when Americans used the Chinese as a cheap labor force in building the railroads. They used every break they were given to play the game, but were usually severely punished. Since that time, the game has become hugely popular in the States, where Milton Bradley soon bought the rights to the game to make it an instantaneous American classic. Okay, here are the rules of Connect Four. You can only go diagonal, side, up, left, and right. And then you go down, you put a piece down in there, and I don't know the rules. You have to get four in a row. Well, I've been playing Connect Four since probably the womb. And it, it just gives me a sense of excitement, passion. It makes me feel alive. It gives me a purpose. But, but you know, I think most of all, it makes me feel dangerous. I consider Connect Four a big, big, big passion in my life. Just as much as painting is. Yeah. Growing up and spending the first 10 years of my childhood in an iron lung was traumatizing. But when I was let out and found Connect Four, it made it seem like the entire experience didn't even happen. Some people have uh, their, their, their cocaine. I have Connect Four. It's, uh, it's my forte, I guess you could say, my jug of choice. Do you believe in God? Because more than anything, Connect Four is a, a spiritual practice. It's not only played here, but right here. Who is the greatest comedian of all time? Carrot Top, of course. And who is the best Connect Four player of all time? Robbie Nagy. Robbie Nagy. Robbie Nagy. Robbie Nagy. Robbie Nagy was uh, a revolutionary Connect Four player. Probably the best of his time, with, of course, the exception of Jesus and Oprah. Nagy beat Einstein in a best of 59 match. He played the entire Hollywood circuit. He beat some of the greats. Uh, Walt Disney, Orson Welles, Mae West, King Kong. He was beating players at their prime in the 30s and 40s. And Nagy himself even had the opportunity to play the greatest leader of World War II and ended up beating the Chancellor of Germany himself, Adolf Hitler. So, of course, when he refused to rematch, he was sent to Auschwitz and never seen again, but that doesn't really change the fact that he won, so you can't really blame his death on Hitler. That's just kind of unfair. Where's Connect Four headed in the future? That's a tough question. At the very least, I think it'll be the best game of all time, because, I mean, currently it's number three, and that's just the biggest load of bullshit. They did a study, and I think it was Princeton or it might have been El Camino, but they did study the best games of all time. And at one came Minesweeper, unfortunately. Uh, two was Hangman, and a close third was Connect Four, but uh, that'll change. And I'm fairly confident that this ranking could change at least within the next two, ten, hundred years. What I'm trying to say here is that this is not going to be disappearing from our society. I mean, we've saturated our youth with this concept of black versus red, which is really just good versus evil. Will there ever be a Connect Five? No. Absolutely not. No. There's ever a Connect Five. 
I would personally torture, brutally torture the CEO of Milton Bradley to death. And then I would be forced to probably take my own life. What do you mean? That is wrong. <laughs> no, not in my lifetime, no. But as technology progresses, then I think eventually, yes, there will be. You good? You got that? All right. Sing the streets of serenade, laying everybody low.